here's a system of linear equations which is slightly different from the ones we've seen so far in class. It has in it, as a coefficient, what we might call a parameter. Namely, it's an unknown real number as the coefficient. So the question is, for which values of rule number A are there exist, as usual, no solutions, a unique solution, or infinitely many solutions? Now, we consider here A as being a fixed real number, it's not a variable. X, Y, and Z here are the variables. And we just want to know, uh, fix an A, and for any given fixed A, which of these three cases is true. So we have to break it down into different cases depending on what A is. So firstly, we write it into, into an augmented matrix. So we have, so over here, have coefficient X is 1, coefficient y is 0, coefficient of z is a, and it's minus 2, 0, 1, 0, a, 0, 0, a squared minus a, and 2, 1, minus a. So this is the augmented matrix, this is the augmented matrix for our system of linear equations. Now we must, importantly we must remember that we can't ever divide through by 0. So for instance, if a squared minus a was 0, we couldn't divide through to get a 1, a 1, and a 1. So it's important to remember. So when we break down into cases, we need to consider this. So the most obvious row operation we might want to do is to make this a 1 and then cancel off the a. So we'll just forget about this a in the top corner here, just for the time being. <coughs> but as I said, if a squared minus a equals 0, we can't divide the last row by a squared minus a. And this is the case if a equals 1 or 0. So we could factor this as a times 1 minus a equals 0, and so either a is 0 or a is 1. So if a is 1, so let's say if a equals 1, then this is 0, as we saw, but this is also 0. So the last row is all zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0. So we're in a case where we have a free variable, namely this row is all zeros, z is now a free variable, we have one pivot, we have a second pivot, and we have a free variable. So we have infinitely many solutions. And we can write them down if we set z equals to t, a real number, then we find that y equals a, you could have seen that before, or rather, in fact, we've set a equal to 1, so we don't have y equals to a, we have y equals to 1, and then the top row is then, remember a is 1, we have x plus z equals minus 2, so x equals minus 2, minus t. And then this is our solution where there is infinitely many solutions. We can write this out as a vector as we want. Second case, a equals 0, then here is 0 on this side, we have 0, 0, 0, but on this side we don't have a zero. On this side we have we have a two. And so we're trying to solve essentially zero equals two, which we can't do. So if a equals zero, there are no solutions. So now if a is not equal to zero, not equal to one, we can divide through by a squared minus a because this term is not zero. And so we can put it into a, a row echelon form and solve from there. So I'm not going to bother cancelling out this a here. 
right, I'm just going to solve it from row echelon form, not reduced row echelon form. Just make a bit more space. So now, if A is not equal to 0 or 1, we can do some row operations, namely send row 3 goes to 1 on A squared minus A row 3. And therefore we get 1, 0, A minus 2, 0, 1, 0, A, 0, 0, 1. And we find 2, 1 minus A over A times A minus 1. And we can just cancel out these at the expense of a minus sign. Minus 2 on A. And we can write out the equations that these correspond to. So we have a unique solution because we have a single pivot in each column. So we can write out x plus az equals minus 2. We have y equals a. And we have z equals minus 2 on a. You can see here why when a is 0, we don't have a solution because that would imply that z here was infinite. And we can rearrange this one, so we get, if we stick <coughs> z equals to minus 2 on a in here, we get x equals minus 2, minus 2 is here, cancel. In fact, we get x equals, x equals to 0, given that z is minus 2 on a. And there you have it. Just a quick example supplement what I did in lectures and I hope to do more of these soon.